Welcome back to This Is Your Life, and I am Queen Fonse. Today is October 13th, 2022, and it is day 15, you guys. So today I will be doing a reading for the sign of Aries. So whatever comes out, comes out. It's going to be general. So let's get started. Day 15, you guys doing a reading for the sign of Aries. All right, universe, can I get a couple of cards for Aries regarding general? Universe, can I get a couple of cards for Aries? That's a lot. <laughs> Universe, can I get a couple of cards for Aries regarding general? Universe, what does Aries need to know? Okay, one card. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Universe. I don't even know what to do with this shit. I don't know. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Cups. Okay. All right. So even though I guess this would be considered the last card, but it came out first, we have the death card, Aries in reverse, because this is the way it came in the higher vent and the upright and the two of cups and the reverse Aries. And the uh, three of hearts, I said the three of hearts, <laughs> the three of swords in um, the upright position. And the five of swords in the upright. And then we have the seven of swords in the reverse. And then we have the queen of cups in the upright. <sighs> Airy so we have no fire here. We have no fire here whatsoever. We have water, we have air. We have earth. Jeez. My goodness. 
So Aries, we have um, with the Queen of Cups, we have compassion, comfort, calm, nurturing, healing, emotional, stable, emotionally stable, intuitive, caring. And then we have the um, Seven of Swords in reverse. Coming clean, rethinking, approach, deception, self-deceit, keeping secrets. Then we have the Five of Swords, conflict, disagreement, competition, defeat, winning at all costs, sneakiness, bully, thief, death, abusive relationship. Then we have heartbreak, suffering, grief, emotional pain, sorrow, hurt, divorce, loss, depression. <sighs> then we have the Two of Cups in reverse, self-love, disharmony, distrust, breakup, imbalance, tension, broken communication. But then you have the higher friend, intuition. Tradition, religion, society, rules, social approval, forgiveness, bonded, mercy, wisdom, trust, and then the death card in reverse, resistance to change, fearing change, holding on, stagnation, decay, personal transformation. This is a lot. This is a lot. <laughs> Aries. So What because there's there because this is a, a reading for a fire sign and there's absolutely no fire here. Out of all one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we got eight cards. And there's no fire here at all. It's possible. Aries. You could be having a hard time dealing with who you are as a person. It's possible, Aries. You could be could could be fighting a battle on the inside and it seems like you losing. With this battle. Yeah. You dealing with some conflict on the inside. It seems to me. And the only reason why I say that, Aries, is because you have these two cards right here. You have the Queen of Cups, and then you have the um, the Seven of Swords in reverse. So the Queen of Cups right here says compassion, comfort, calm, nurturing, healing, emotional, emotionally stable, intuitive, and caring. But then right next to it, it says come and clean, rethink and approach, deception, self-deceit, keeping secrets. Like, it's like, it's like you know what you need to do, but you fighting it. And so you battling with yourself and it, from the looks of it, it's like you're not winning. Right here, you have conflict up. You have the five of swords, conflict, disagreement, when it all costs, 
And then right here you have the three of swords, heartbreak, suffering, grief, like. But the crazy thing is. You not really fighting with other people. You fighting with yourself and you losing. That's the fucked up thing about it. You battling your own self. And you ain't winning. And that's fucked up. Reverse. Two of Cups. Self-love, disharmony, distrust, break in balance, tension, broken communication. All this is with yourself, Aries. This all you. There's no fire in this um this spread. Cause you you battling you battling with who you are inside. You fight with yourself. Resistance to change. You have the higher fent right here, right next to you. You have it right here. But then you have the death card. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Page of Cups at the bottom. Bottom of the deck. It says, it's in reverse. Emotional immaturity, insecurity, disappointment, new ideas, creative blockage. In reverse, you gotta have to change the way you. I don't know, maybe <sighs> maybe it's. I don't know, like Aries, like what, what is it? What is it that you see, like? What is going on inside that make you feel this way? Is, is it possible, Aries, you feel the way that you feel about yourself? Cause this is all inside. You're not you're not fighting with nobody but yourself. Is it because you possibly lack the Queen of Cups in your life? Someone who was compassionate for you, calm and nurturing, healing. Someone who was caring. Is it possible you lack that? And that's why you're going through all this shit that's in the inside. Because this is what you needed. And you didn't get it. You didn't have that. And that's why you fucked up on the inside. Yeah. Yep. That's what it is. You didn't have this right here. Aries. And that's why all this shit right here. On the inside is all fucked up. That's why you all fucked up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for saying it that way. Yeah. You're going to have to find forgiveness. You're going to have to find forgiveness, Aries, for this over here. You're going to have to find forgiveness for not having this when you needed it. You're going to have to find the forgiveness. 
So this can be, this death card can be turned in the right position. The ending of that cycle. You need to have forgiveness. So this cycle right here can end, sorry. So this cycle right here can end and you can move on. So it can be in the right position. And go on about your business. So this right here, this page of cups can be in the right position. Creative, creative opportunities, intuitive message, curiosity, possibilities, happiness, surprise, dreamer, sensitivity, new love. Yeah. But that's not going to happen, Aries. If you don't um, have forgiveness for this Queen of Cups not being able to provide you for what it is that you needed here and you didn't get it. That's why it's on the outside. Yeah. It's going to be all right. Kipper, do you have anything else to say about this uh, spread for Aries? Can I get a card or two for Aries regarding this spread, please? Universe, can I get a card or two for Aries regarding this spread? House. Anything else? Anything else for Aries regarding this spread? Toil and labor. The bottom of the deck, it says unexpected income. So, we have house number 20. And then we have um, 38 toil and labor. So with the house and number 20, what I'm basically getting is, yeah, it's possible in the home, it was some things that you wasn't, that you didn't get, that you possibly needed Aries. And with 38, 38 could be significant to you. And the toil and labor, it could just be something that you've been dealing with pretty much all your life. And it's been hard. It's I, shit. The way this is looking, obviously, it's been hard. But I feel if you just, 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 just break that, break that cycle. Like this death card at the bottom, if it's in the right position, just break that cycle, Aries. Then that unexpected income, you can have that unexpected income. And, and that doesn't necessarily have to mean money. You know what I'm saying? It could, it could be any, it could be money, but it could be anything to it. It doesn't necessarily have to be money, though. Shit, it could be happiness. It could be good health. It could be love. It could be a whole bunch of things. Aries. All right, let's close it out with an um, oracle card. Just one for you, Aries. Universe, can I please? Well, what in the world? Hmm. Okay. Number 10. It says destiny. Okay. Yeah. 
At the bottom of the deck, it says deception and envy. Aries. So, that's pretty much what it is that I have for you, um, Aries. 10 could be significant, 38, 20, 5, 3, 5, again. All right, you guys. This is your life, and I am Queen Vance. I'm out.